Okay. Now, the reason it freaked out is because one of the ghosts actually traveled through the path that's on each side. Um, see if I put my mouse over here, it says his A coordinate was negative one. He actually ran right off the map. Um, we have not put in code for um, allowing one to travel. See here, these, the edges. So, let's do that right now. Now I have the uh, coordinates somewhere in here, because yeah, I manually hard-coded them in. So, I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, even though I only need two of the four. But let's do this. After their new location is chosen, which is here, they've actually landed on a new tile. Let's do this. If A equals 1 and B equals 9, a equals 0 and B equals 9, uh, then A equals 20. Um, yeah, you know, this could have some problems, but let's try it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. If A equals 20 and B equals 9, then a equals zero. I'm thinking what I should do is set this to one, this to 19, you know, like uh, bring it in one, but I think this will give us the effect that we're looking for where they actually goes off the screen and comes back on the other, it doesn't just vanish. Um, there we go, I don't need those anymore. But I'll try it this way. And then we gotta do it with the ghosts too. Even though the ghosts should never actually travel off the screen. Um, I'm going to put it in anyways. I actually thought it would have been cooler with the old Pac-Man game if the ghost did travel off the screen, so let's just see what happens. Later on, if I think about it, I'll probably change it so that the ghost can't run off the screen, but let's see. Now I'm actually going to control myself this time and see if it works. That would be a no. Alright. Fall back to plan B. One, one, and nineteen. That's kind of what I was afraid would happen. Wait, something's up. A still reached zero. It's not supposed to reach zero. Oh! Okay, wait. Let's try that. Um... Yeah. I need to set... Back to zero. Back to twenty. I need to set the D2 for this, which, of course, I cannot remember what it is. Okay. D2. So we need to manually make sure that if he has, if he is disappearing into the left side, he needs to continue to travel left. We don't want the the guy playing to um, change that. Hey, it works. Look at that. Let's see if I can run back through. Yeah. Now we need to make it so that Ooh. we need to make it so that the ghosts actually kill you when they hit you. And um, ah, I'm gone. Well, I would be gone. I'm actually underneath one of the ghosts. But we're getting close. I did set this, yeah. Okay, what's next? Um, you know what? This section here 
should be below this. Put that in the wrong spot. Because this up here is where the ghosts have reached their new tile. Now in addition I need to do right below this where the jumping through that portal or the wraparound we need to figure out if a ghost has run into Pac-Man. If G A equals A and G B, then that means you're dead. Let's see what. Um, let's see if I can remember what this was. Dying. Here we go. Equals. Let's just say dying equals one. If that's the case, I need to have something so that all motion stops, that nobody moves anymore once dying equals one. So I think what I'll do is up here where it changes the animation. Where was that? Here. I'm going to say if if dying equals zero, then. This way, once Pac-Man dies, the animation stops for the um, the normal like moving animation, that way everybody kind of freezes in place, which is what you expect to happen with Pac-Man. I'll just run into him intentionally. Oh, uh, that didn't work. Let's see what happened. If dying equals zero, then is that the right variable name? Yeah, dying. Um, let's see here. Um. Let's just put a message box just to see if I do in fact uh, Okay, it works and then freaks out. Why does it freak out? Hmm. Uh, I also did notice that there was the issue where if I'm running in one direction and Ghost is running in the other direction, we may not actually land on the same tile at the same time. So I need to put in some kind of condition for that, but uh, that, that's not a priority right now. How much time? 26 seconds, huh? Um, well, i got to save the video anyways. Maybe uh, have a second here and I'll figure out what it's doing that's causing everything to speed up. So, okay, I'm going to save the video now.